hands of the youth. So now we are giving more and more of ethical knowledge to the children to make them understand, my dear children, the color of your skin may be different. One is brown, another is yellow, another is white, another is black. One's hair may be black, another may be blonde, another may be brunette, another may be white. Some may have long hair, some may have curly hair, some may have no hair at all, bald. Doesn't matter. Some may be vegetarian, some may be non-vegetarian. Doesn't matter. Some may speak English, another may speak Mandarin, third may speak Spanish, fourth may speak Portuguese, another may speak uh, French. Doesn't matter. Tell me what is the difference in the color of our blood? The color of our blood is always red. Do you breathe in oxygen or carbon dioxide? You breathe in oxygen. I also breathe in oxygen. Anatomically, we are more or less the same. Yes. Some may be tall, some may be short. That is not important. Some may be fat, some may be thin. That is not important. Fundamentally, we are same. My master always used to say, there are many stars, the sky is one. There are many nations, earth is one. Similarly, there are many humans, mankind is one. Only when a man is kind, we can call this as mankind. Man is not kind to them. So how can you call yourself mankind? <laughs> These are the values that we are teaching to our children. These values come from the teachings of great masters, prophets, messiahs, avatars, teachers, gurus. Because their life by thought, by words, by deeds, was soaked in love. It was immersed in love. They thought only for one thing. All these teachers, everybody should be happy. And happiness is not in having a drink later. These people cannot sleep at night. They are afraid. Happiness is here. You cannot say, if I ask you, are you happy? I am happy. But you know, if I had a Bentley car, I would have been happier. That means, only if you have it, you will be happy. That means today you are not happy. Right now you are not happy. No, I am happy. But you said just now, I will be happy. That is in the future, not now. Now you are not in a state of happiness. I will be very happy if I have one glass of cacao. Oh, you like cacao? I love cacao. Okay, drink one glass of cacao. Are you happy? Drink two glasses, you'll be happier. If one glass can give you so much of happiness, two glasses should give you so much of happiness. Okay, sir, I'll have it. Have third glass. Okay, sir. Fourth? No, sir, thank you. No, no, please. It will give you more happiness. Have ten glasses. Sir, I cannot have ten glasses. Not possible. No, please, it will give you unlimited happiness. If you have 10 classes, you will be sitting in some other place, not here. <laughs> you have to understand, you have to believe, 
that your happiness is never, was never, is never, and will never be in things. Happiness is a state of mind. You cannot become happy. You are happiness. To think I will be happy if I get a nice house in center of Vilnius, all crap. It is your play of your mind. Today you get an apartment in center of Vilnius, tomorrow you will say, nice place, but I went to Switzerland, Switzerland is better. <laughs> then you go to Sweden, Sweden I feel is much better. Singapore, I don't have a house in Asia, I only have it in Europe. Let me buy one apartment in Asia. There is no limit to this nonsense. In how many beds can you sleep at the same time? In how many plates can you eat at the same time? In how many cars can you travel at the same time? How many trousers can you wear at the same time? Only one trouser. Why it is green? How did you come into this earth? Naked. How will you go from this earth? Almost naked. Just one piece of cloth will be there on this body. With what did you bring into this earth? Nothing. I came empty handed. What will you take from this earth? Nothing. Won't you take your uh, penthouse? No. Won't you take your Bentley? No. Won't you take your farmhouse? No. Won't you take your... You are the president of this country. Won't you take that post with you? No. You will not take anything. Oh, I love my wife. I cannot live without her. Did you come with your wife? When you came into this earth? Will you take your wife when you die? If you die, she will cry for some time. You will go, bye bye. That's all. <laughs> She is not going to cry 24 hours or 365 days. Remember, all of us are just passengers on this path. All are passengers. When you enter a train, in a coupe, you have got a passenger. He is a nice person, intelligent person, very nice. Jovial. He sits down to eat. He has got some nice buns from home. He shares it with you. You have got something from home. You share it with that person. You have a nice intelligent conversation. But when his station comes, you cannot say, you don't say, Sir, I love you. Please don't go. I am so much in love with you. Sorry, my station has come. I have to get up. You don't bang your head on the wall and cry, Oh my God, he has gone. My life is finished. We are all passengers in a train. We have come with the return ticket. All of us have come. Every year we celebrate our birthday. So happy. We go to some restaurant, eat. That's all we do. Next day morning we sit in some other place and everything comes out. That's the only thing we know. How did you celebrate your birthday? I celebrated my birthday in a five star hotel. What did you do? We ate. Why you can't eat at home? What makes you think that you can, they serve you better food there? Sit with your wife, make together something, talk to each other lovingly. Go to some place where, where there are poor people, feed them, make them happy. That is life. Every year we celebrate birthday. We don't forget. If you forget, we tell our wife, See, you forgot my birthday. 
But when we got married, every time used to wish me. But already 20 years we have got married. You have even forgotten my name. We accuse our husband and wives. Third world war in the house. 